Hi. How's it going? Uh, don't answer that because I can't hear you. So over the past few days, I've been filming quite a lot about what I'm doing with the car to kind of prepare it for paint and the next steps. Um, and then I realized that it's all very boring stuff and people don't typically want to watch that. So I figured I'd just give you a rundown of everything I've done so far uh, before we get to the more exciting stuff. Not that what I'm about to do is exciting, but we'll get there eventually. So immediately after the last video, I started with, I wanted to kind of true up the hood. So I left it a little bit uneven and it's still a little bit uneven. It's not perfect, but essentially what I wanted to do was loosen it up, see if I could line everything up a little bit better um, while still keeping it so that it could latch using the factory latch. So then once I got the hood to where it was good enough, um, which is kind of the theme of this car. In fact, it might be the name of this build, good enough. I decided to take the headliner down um, so that I could, a couple things, I need to fix the dents in the roof uh, and it's obviously needs to be done from the inside and I can't really get to it through the headliner. Um, and second thing was I need to get rid of the airbags because they have been deployed, obviously. So they were just kind of sitting there, their extra weight, completely useless. So I uh, went ahead and pulled the headliner out, pulled the airbags out, messed up my hand in the process, won't even get into that, and then moved on to repair the roof. You also may have noticed that I am sitting in front of the hatch that was on the car. So this was a fun endeavor because it's really heavy. Um, something like 60, 70 pounds, all awkward. It might actually be more than that, I'm not really sure. Um, but essentially I, I spun the car around and I lifted the hatch off of the car using my rafters and some toe straps. Um, it was sketchy, it wasn't fun, but I got it done. So since then I've been working on trying to fix some of the damage at the rear of the roof line. Um, the hatch kind of pushed into it whenever the accident happened, so there's been a bit of rough um, kinks and, and bends where there's not supposed to be. So if you try and open the hatch, it just doesn't open smoothly. Um, and I'm worried it's actually gonna break the glass. So I've been working on straightening that out. I'm still kind of doing that, but it's not fun to watch. So I'll just show you the final result um, once it's done. Just a lot of banging and hitting it with the palm of my hand now at this point. Um, I also showed you that it was extremely cold yesterday. It's cold. It was 17 degrees or something like that. I don't know. It was ridiculous. It's a lot warmer today, so I can actually get a lot more done. Um, so I'm going to get back to work and I'll update you soon enough. So that sucked. <laughs> uh, so that was that was probably one of my least favorite parts of this build so far. Um, I've been dreading it for a really long time since I got this hood because I knew it was going to be just awful. So 
What what you actually saw was not me removing the clear mask. It was me removing the adhesive that was under the clear mask. So sometime uh, probably a, a year ago or so, I thought it was a brilliant idea to hit the clear mask with a pressure washer, thinking hot pressure water would remove it. Um, it did. It took the film off. It left that awful, sticky, disgusting residue behind. Um, to be fair, it's not sticky until you try to dissolve it. And the solvent I'm using, I'm not really sure what it is. I stole it from the dealership I work at. Um, works really well, but it has such a ridiculous flash that it, it like it dries almost immediately after you take the cloth off of it. That's why you have to do it a small section at a time. Um, I didn't learn that until the second section. <laughs> so this one was awful. Uh, that one I started... Actually, a long time ago, you might actually see it in the other video, that I got basically somewhat done with this one, and I was like, just absolutely screw it, because I do not want uh, to keep doing this. But then I was like, you know what, there's got to be a better way. So I got some scrapers, and I tested out different methods, and this one actually worked really well, and then this one was what I zoomed in on, because it was actually worth it. Um, so that's done. And what that means is actually the car is ready uh, to be prepped for paint. So this was meant to be kind of a paint prep prep video. It turned into more of a removing the shitty residue left behind by a clear mask video um, with some other sprinkles thrown in there. But basically I'll, I'll give a rundown so we can kind of be sure of, of everything that is done and needs to be done. Uh, because I know this is going to be a short video and that's honestly fine because people like short videos. So I have somewhat repaired the roof. Um, I think it's about as good, uh, as far as the metal goes, it's about as good as I'm going to get it. So I've got the hood realigned as good as it's probably ever going to get. And I also get, and once again, I don't, I don't really need it to be perfect. Um, bumper will be more permanently mounted before the next video. I'm probably not going to put that on a video. It just needs some pins and it needs some like screws and those little, um, what are they called? The, the little nuts that like slip on the two things and then you run a bolt. It doesn't matter. Uh, speed nut, speed nut, speed nut. So that will be done probably off camera because no one cares. Uh, the hatch is back on. I went ahead and put that back on just to make sure that the work that I did to clear up the, the catching um, worked, and it did. So that's on. It's, it's going to come off again probably after paint just because there's a couple other things that I need to do back there, like chopping off the whole ass end of the car and rebuilding that. But it's another day, another video. So car's ready to be... A little bit of body work here and there. I'm not going to try and get it perfect because we know it's not going to be. Um, but I am going to Bondo here and there. I'm going to try and straighten some of the metal that was bent just to make it more paintable. It'll be easier to paint and to polish out if it's straighter. So less work. More work now, less work later. Um, so that's going to be the next video is prepping for paint and painting. I'm going to do that all in one and it's going to be hilarious because it's probably not going to go well. Thanks for watching.